welcome back to bio buddy and today we will be studying a new module that is animal physiology we've already studied animal physiology since we were small and we've already studied a lot of things about animal physiology but in csir net animal physiology occupies quite a weightage so we need to deal with some stuff which is very very important right so in animal physiology as you all know we have to study all the body parts all the body workings that are going on inside our body such as endocrine system reproductive system nervous system circulatory system excretory system etc and digestive system you know, after all so but in this video we will only be focusing on the digestive system and that to a small part of the digestive system not all of it right so what is digestive system the digestive system is the system which is present inside our body obviously and what is it doing it is helping in the digestive processes which are taking place inside our body right so what is digestive system digestive system it is a system present inside our body and is performing the function of of digestion right so as you all know what is digestion we are all eating um, you know every food substance which is a very complex food so that complex food needs to be converted into a simple food right so that simple food how is it being converted suppose we are eating a chapati it is in the form of a carbohydrate but we need to convert that carbohydrate into simpler forms so that our cells can absorb these forms right so how will that happen this happens with the with the process of digestion so what is digestion digestion is a process in which the complex food is converted to simple food right the complex food is converted to simple food so that is the process which is taking place in our digestive system so this is about the digestive system now you people want to know what is digestive system and what is it composed of right so what is digestive system composed of it is mainly divided into two parts so what are these parts first part is the digestive tract digestive tract also known as gi tract gi here means gastrointestinal tract and also known as the alimentary canal so this is the first part right now what is the second part second part is the accessory glands and organs right so we now know the digestive system is divided into two main parts the digestive tract accessory glands or organs it is also known as the gi tract which is known as gastrointestinal tract also known as the alimentary canal understood right. so if you haven't understood anything or if you finding it too fast you can pause the video you can again repeat it whatever you feel you can do it according to your time right so now we will move on to what are the processes which are involved in the digestive system the processes involved in digestive system so first of all you need to know what is digestive tract you have you must know that there is a pipe tube like structure known as the esophagus which is coming from the buccal cavity right you must know all that and then it enters into the stomach that's all you must have studied so that is the digestive tract and accessory glands are salivary glands liver pancreas etc right and pharynx larynx these are the organs so i hope you are getting a bit you know idea about what we are studying what is it about right 
So now let's move on to the processes involved in the digestive system. So the first process is ingestion. So you know ingestion. Ingestion means taking in of food. Taking in of food. When you eat food, it is known as uh, ingestion. Right? And the food can be in any form. It can be liquid, it can be solid, it can be semi-solid, it can be jelly-like, whatever. But the process of taking in food is known as injection. The second is digestion. Right? Third is absorption. Fourth is SC. Relation and last is ejection. Now, ejection is also known as excretion, or it is also known as defecation. Okay, so now we know what is ingestion taking enough food in a complex form. Then, what do we know is what is digestion? Digestion is conversion of a um, complex food to a simple food substance right next is absorption whichever food we are eating be it carbohydrate be it proteins be it fats this complex food is broken down into a simpler food converting them into fatty acids amino acids glycerol etc right so the, these things when they are getting inside the body these things are absorbed by the body cells our body cells are absorbing these things and that is how we are getting energy right so what will happen now when these things are absorbed what happens is assimilation assimilation means wherever for example uh, there is a need of uh, energy in our esophagus and the peristalsis movement which is taking place when we are digesting the food we need energy there so if the energy is being absorbed in the intestine region so that will be assimilated to the upper areas wherever the energy is required in the form of fatty acids amino acid glycerol right so assimilation means when the absorbed food goes to the uh, required place Right, so that means assimilation, and the next is ejection. Ejection, excretion, or defecation. Ejection means when the food is digested inside the body. The digested food, some part of it is left undigested, right? Because it is not digested. So the undigested food is excreted out of the body, and this process is known as ejection. I hope you all have understood this. So now let's move on two digestion types there are two types of digestion right so one is mechanical digestion and another is chemical digestion first is the mechanical digestion second is the chemical digestion now let me make some space here So first we will be studying about chemical digestion. What is chemical digestion? Now as the name itself is denoting, chemical digestion means with the help of chemicals. When the food is being converted into a simpler substance from a complex substance. Right? Because when we are eating chapati, when we are eating rice, we are eating it in the form of carbohydrates, solid form. But these carbohydrates have a very large size. They can be monosaccharides, polysaccharides, disaccharides. Right? So what happens is, if the complex substance are taken inside our body, our cells won't be able to absorb it. So obviously we won't get energy. So if we need energy, they need to be broken down first. So chemical digestion is basically taking place inside our mouth or buccal cavity takes place here and inside the mouth what do we have we have the saliva 
which is helping in the chemical digestion saliva which is secreted from the salivary glands right and we also have tongue that helps in mixing the food mixing sorry mixing the saliva and the food right so now what happens is chemical digestion we are studying about chemical digestion so what is happening in this with the help of chemicals the complex food is being converted to simpler food right for example we are eating a complex food and it is being converted into simple food right so what is the complex nature it can be carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins so these are very big forms for example suppose these are the forms in which we are taking in the food but this type of form cannot be digested by our body so it needs to be converted into simple form how is it converted into simple form it can be converted into fatty acids amino acids glycerol tag mags etc right so now what will happen is if this is the complex form it will be converted into a simpler form and that will be this plus this plus this plus this so this is very simple now these forms can be absorbed by the understood so this is the basic answer which you need to learn that what is being done and where is it is being done right so this is all about chemical digestion in a very normal form minimalistic form in a very general way but now we will be in the for the video we will be studying this in very detailed forms but how is it being converted to many tiny minute particles what are the enzymes which are present which are acting on these food substances right so now what will happen we will study mechanical digestion now um, mechanical digestion what do we study about mechanical digestion what is mechanical digestion so mechanical digestion is basically when the teeth is involved in mechanical digestion mechanical digestion is also known as a physical digestion right so what is physical digestion when with the help of physical agents the food is being digested right so what will happen now we know we are studying about mechanical digestion so now we know what is mechanical digestion with the help of when physical agents help in digestion of food so what are these physical agents these physical agents are teeth obviously when we have you know we have a four types of teeth incisors canines premolars molars so these are the teeth which are present inside our buccal cavity they are embedded in sockets right so what happens is these are the teeth which help in chewing the food grinding the food maceration of the food and they help in the process of mechanical digestion right so what is the next step mechanical digestion we know it is being done by the teeth physical agents when they are involved in the chewing of food mechanical digestion and when the chemical agents like salivary amylase saliva they are uh, involved in breaking down the complex substance into a smaller substance or a simpler substance that is known as the chemical digestion so this is all about normal a general discussion about what is digestion and how is digestion done in two ways that is chemical and mechanical 
now in the next video we will be studying about salivary amylase we will also be studying about how salivary amylase is acting on food what are the other ingredients uh, we can say are the other constituents of uh, saliva which are present in our mouth and uh, when is saliva released how is saliva released how much amount of saliva is released this we will be studying in the next video right so thank you and if you have any doubts please rewind the video like see it again watch it again play pause whenever you want and if you have any doubts please comment down in the section below and do subscribe my channel like the video and share it among your friends thank you